Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Amen. People of God, I'm coming on today to release a prophetic warning. So most recently, I heard the Lord say that localized storms are headed your way. Something is getting ready to happen, but you are protected, my God. But before I get into the rest of this word with you all today, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. Why? Because I am just the messenger, okay? I'm just a vessel, y'all, that the Lord uses to speak what is on his heart. And it is only God that will have the answers that you seek. Amen. The Bible also tells us in 1 John chapter 4 to test the spirit. Test, test the spirit behind all prophetic messages that you hear from someone. And the Bible also encourages us to study, to show ourselves approved. Why? So that we can take what we learn from the Holy Scriptures and weigh them against prophetic messages like this one or those that come from other people. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is also asking for me to make myself very clear in this message and that this warning is not being released to create fear in you. Okay. There's a lot of that going on where people are saying things to instill fear in people in hopes that that would get them to change, but that's not the way God operates. God uses the servants of the Lord to release the truth and nothing but the truth and in love. Okay. And in that there are instructions that the Lord will release with the word. So that way you can get prepared for what the Lord is warning you about. And also I hear him saying, tell them that does not make the previous prophetic words null and void. All of God's words will come to pass. Whatever the Lord has spoken over your life will come to pass regardless, listen, people of God, of what is going on around you. As long as we have life in us as children of God, we have a work to do in the earth. We are entitled to the things that the Lord wants to bless us with. And we're going to continue to receive those things accordingly. But while we're in the midst of working in the fields, working in the earth, trying to reach the four corners of the earth, we still have to endure the evilness of the world. The Bible says that we are in the world, but not of it. So while we're in it, we are always going to encounter wickedness. We are always going to encounter the adversary, but God through his warning, he will always keep us abreast. And as long as we stay in him and believe in him, we will be able to maneuver through the things that the adversary tries to bring our way by leading of God's Holy Spirit. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I initially received revelation concerning this warning on September the 12th, 2023. But at that time, I thought that the word was only for me because there are some little storms, okay, that are happening around me. But as time passed, Holy Spirit has been kind of nudging me and confirming to me in subtle ways to share this word with you as well, which ultimately led me to come on today and release this warning. I hope that makes sense. So people of God, I have been seeing the number 911 quite a bit over the past couple weeks, as well as the number 919. And over these past few days, I've been feeling the need to intercede in prayer for certain people multiple times. Okay. And I've been feeling just kind of like this sense of gloom, this, this doom, seeing dark clouds, you know, like something is about to happen. And I even remember saying out loud during this period of time, Lord, what is going on? What is happening? It feels like something is getting ready to happen. And so on September the 11th, people of God, something strange happened. I was logging into my cell phone to search for some notes. And then all of a sudden I saw 911 dialing on my phone. And I remember looking at it and asking myself, well, I didn't dial the number. So how, how did this number show up like this? Why is it dialing itself? Right? 
Now, brothers and sisters, I do have a button on my phone where I could hit the 911 button in case of emergencies, but that button only shows up before I log into my phone. But this happened after I had already put in my code. I had already looked at some other stuff on the phone. And then all of a sudden the 911 was dialing. So of course I immediately ended the 911 call because I didn't want the police to think that I had an emergency or that I was playing on the phone, right? And it was at that point, people of God, that I began to pray and just come against whatever wicked spirit that was trying to conjure itself up in my life that night, because that's what it felt like. It felt like there was something coming toward me, something trying to come my way. Okay. And then I woke up the next morning, very early. I believe it was around about 3 59 AM. And I just decided to stay up and pray and talk to God. Okay. And while I was talking to God, I saw 911 again. And then I saw 919 again. Okay. So I asked the Lord, what are you saying to me through these numbers? Because I've been seeing them for a few weeks. And then I finally heard the Holy Spirit say, read Psalm 91. And so I began to read the verses. And when I reached verse nine, my God, I immediately started crying, crying. I could not stop my tears from coming out of my eyes. And by the time I got to verse 11, people of God, I started speaking in tongues. I could not control it. I could not stop it. It just flowed, flowed, flowed out of me. And people of God, this communication that I was having at this point in time with God absolutely blew my mind because this is where the revelation began to reveal itself. This is when I began to see warning in its entirety through these numbers that God had been showing me over a period of weeks. So people of God, most of us know that Psalm 91 is a powerful declaration of protection for those of us that choose to dwell in the shelter of God. Amen. And when we read the verses in Psalm 91, we witness a conversation between God and the psalmist, which leads to the psalmist's assertion that he will put all his trust in God's protection when times of trouble come his way. And people of God, as a result of this, I believe that the Lord will be dropping Psalm 91 as a requirement for many of you into your spirits in the upcoming days for you to read it, for you to study the scriptures and to meditate on God's word as often as you possibly can. Why? Because as I said earlier, I heard God say that localized storms are headed your way, but you child of God are protected. Brothers and sisters, the Lord said that there are localized storms that are coming toward a few of you. And for some of you, it will be more than one storm. God says that these storms are labeled as judgment, calamity, and illness. God says that these localized storms are headed towards your inner circles, your neighborhoods, your job, your church, or any entity that surrounds you at any point in time where evilness is being pursued, said the spirit of the Lord. God says that there will be people that you know that will fall ill. There will also be some kind of mass illness that will plague your city or your county or your state. God also said that severe calamities will hit certain states that never experienced devastation like it before. Plagues, we know what that is. We just had something like that back in 2019. Okay. And then illness is illness. I don't know what kind of illness it will be, but these are the three areas of storms that God is saying is coming. It's coming. And I get a sense of this happening in the upcoming months, people of God, the Lord didn't give me an exact date, but we're going to begin to see this manifest simultaneously. And so brothers and sisters, also, you remember what I said earlier when I said I started to cry when I reached verse nine of Psalms 91 and how I started to speak in tongues by the time I reached verse 11. Well, people of God, the Lord says that many of us will need to apply this protection, this Psalm 91 protection when 
these storms arrive and consume all that is around us that is in wickedness or are not prepared, says the spirit of the Lord. Now, if you read verses nine through 11 in Psalm 91, it says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Brothers and sisters, these three verses alone speak and confirm God's warning today in that the localized storms are coming. They are coming toward you because of the evilness that is seeping out of the people and the environments that are around you. But as the scripture says, says the spirit, of the Lord. No evilness shall come near your dwelling. Why? Because God is your shield and he will send his angels to keep you, to watch over you day and night until these storms pass, says the spirit of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Lord asked me to read aloud with you the entire chapter of Psalms 91 so that we may come into agreement that God will protect you and yours during the times when these localized storms come near you. Allow me to invite you to the altar today and let us read our promise of protection together as to decree and declare it to be so over our lives in Jesus name. And so I am reading from the King James version and the verses say, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. And Father, we just decree and declare this protection over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So people of God, I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will be with you for all the rest of your days in Jesus name. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it. I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay? Bye.